The American Dipper, named for its habit of dipping and curtsying, is our only truly aquatic songbird. He not only paddles around mountain streams, but even dives underwater to swim in the swift currents, and sometimes walks submerged on the rocky stream bed, turning over rocks in search of fish eggs. As long as the water's not frozen, he relishes icy streams I wouldn't dip a toe into because he has thick down covered by well-oiled feathers. John Muir, the 19th century naturalist who explored the Sierra Nevadas, described these birds, which were in his day called water oozels. The oozel's food consists of all kinds of water insects, which in summer are chiefly procured along shallow margins. Here he wades about ducking his head under water and deftly turning over pebbles and fallen leaves with his bill, seldom choosing to go into deep water where he has to use his wings in diving. But he does dive down sometimes even though he doesn't look like he could withstand swift currents much better than a sodden leaf would. I mean, the oozel is more round and cute than he is muscular looking, and he doesn't even have webbed feet. But what those feet lack in webbing, they make up for by being large and strong. Size 20s. Those feet can carry the bird down steep, slippery rocks as if they were level and grip the rocks underwater. Or, once submerged, he may swim, using not webbed feet, but wings. If he's paddling on the surface, the current will take him. But those strong, wide, feathered oars of his give him control against the current. After all, if he wants minnows, he has to be as adroit in the water as they are. Dippers are also unusual in that both sexes sing all year. Their songs are as endlessly varied as a tumbling stream. But the dipper is such a ventriloquist that you'd think he, or she, didn't want the credit for those ebullient melodies. And by the way, those are white eyelashes he's been flashing at you. I filmed in October when the streams were placid, but the dipper can handle even violent spring floods. It's the only bird that will enter a white torrent or fly through a waterfall. He looks like a land bird, but he's more tied to water than even waterfowl are. Muir observes that ducks go ashore and make long flights overland, but the oozel, born on the brink of a stream, seldom leaves it for a single moment. For notwithstanding that he is often on the wing, he never flies overland, but whirs above the stream, tracing all its windings. The oozel doesn't migrate, except perhaps in winter to a lower elevation where the streams aren't iced over. He has no reason to move further, for he considers cold invigorating. He sings in snowstorms and relishes a plunge into an icy sheet of foam as if it were a hot tub. The dipper is a drab, ordinary-looking, simply extraordinary bird.